Here comes the plane. Lizzie. Can't hear it very loud yet. It is coming. I'll leave the door open from here. Maybe we'll be able to hear it. I'm going to keep this pointed at my face. And no matter how fucking weird it feels, I'm just going to record and try not to touch it. <laughs> they haven't been flying directly over my house like they were six months ago quite as much. Now it seems that they have you know, looping circles that are slowly covering the entire city. You know, these 200 fucking jets a night flying over every residential neighborhood in town at less than 500 feet. Really. But nobody goes outside, because I go outside and look and there's fucking nobody outside. They're all chemtrailed out in the house, fucking on pills and watching the internet every fucking night. Life. So unnecessary. Any spontaneous white beard hairs sprouting out of the fucking infected mass that's uh, called by the airplane? I hear the plane getting closer. I mean, it never really leaves anymore. There's almost always the sound of a plane outside in Vancouver, Washington, anywhere you go. You're, n you're never out of the range of hearing one. They're continuously flying. And there's no airport here. Hmm. And they're flying so low that they should be landing. But they're not. They're just cruising real slow, round in circles and lazy figure eights, right over your house, all day and all night, every day and every night. Because you're st too stupid to know what a threat is. And even if you did, you're too chicken shit to stand up for yourself. Let's face it. Even you gun owners. You gun owners are the dumbest fucks in the world. Fucking putting flags on your motorcycles and riding around. Oh, second Amendment, you pray it for my cold dead hands. Well, <laughs> that's what'll happen. You'll keel over from poison and fucking internal organ failure or weird parasite viruses growing out of your fucking face. And then the government team will come along and scoop up your guns and dispose of your body. Boy, that gun really protected you, didn't it? It was a good thing you spent all that money on guns and tattoos instead of, you know, providing for your family or anything. Second Amendment, my fucking ass. You don't need the Second Amendment because you're afraid to use the first, you chicken shits. So fuck you. Your gun ain't going to do nothing but make you fucking a, a target for a theft. And possibly a murder. Enjoy. You'd be too sick to battle your way out of the fucking city if there's some sort of big fucking, you know, collapse or fucking shutdown. Because the real threat is your own government and you're too chicken shit to fucking even admit it. I mean, Kennedy proved that. Uh, it make me puke if I covered everything that I could even think of off the top of my head as to how this nation bends over as fast as it can, waves a flag and says, at least I got a gun. <laughs> now let's send our Christian kids to go murder people on the other side of the world and become heroin addicts so they can come back and be the police to, you know, police over our other kids that didn't go to the war because they're here and they're junkies. And they need to be put in prison and locked away because that's the only way to keep society safe. What a great society we have. Police and prisons and junkies. Well, don't forget the doctors now. The good witch doctors and their snaky pole. They're good doc. They're good people. They're trying to save you. They're trying to save you from that cancer. Gosh, if we only knew what caused it. If we only knew a way that we could fucking stop that cancer. Fucking plane coming yet? I hear it. Yeah. 
It's going to sound like the plane's coming forever. My ears haven't stopped ringing since I got up today. Even when there's not a plane really close. I am in the cell phone grid though. So, you know, if you live within can Wi-Fi or cell range, you're getting harped. Have a harpy new year.